Alrighty, <laughs> yo, what is up, knights? Aegis Rick here, back with some more DFO Blitz. This time on my Crusader. And I should say male Crusader now, guys, because, uh, I, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but if you guys haven't been up to date with DFO, you, you know that female priest is coming just right around the corner. I'd say within the next couple weeks, even less than that now, as I record this video. But anyway, guys, male Crusader, uh, he is a character I have long since forgotten he was one of the first like i want to say 10 top five characters i made honestly he was one of the first guys i made i made all the plate armor classes and i've played this character before in the past and it was very boring back then in old dfo when the first time i made him it was very boring when they brought it back with this version of the game crusader has legendarily been a very boring class to play uh, i kind of labeled him as a one hitter quitter type of class he had very few offensive skills i think his offensive tree could be listed right here that is his offensive tree and that's it like what else does this guy have he was so boring to play and trust me i think a lot of people felt the same way ever since then though you know it's been a couple weeks now infinity update has been out we've gotten uh updates to the saint horn uh, region which by the way we are going to be uh playing today but more importantly i think we got updates to well, maybe not more importantly, we'll talk about that. Um, but we got updates to a lot of classes that were like that, that were maybe too focused on support play like Crusader is. And I hate that type of play, so that's why mine got ignored. Uh, they've changed him drastically, and instead of me trying to explain how his changes work or what changes he got, I'm just going to show you. And he, uh, I'll just kind of explain what it was. Uh, on the left side of the tree is your support skills, which is your GOG support satyr, divine invocation, all of that skills. You'll notice I don't have them skilled. That's because uh, when you go battle satyr route, which is something they added after infinity, you can't have your buff skills as well. You can't have your cake and eat it too, right? So uh, that's because it's uh, exclusive. You got to pick one or the other. Uh, we're going to be jumping here into Nora Farah, uh, and I forgot <laughs> I wanted to show off the infinite difficulty. We'll show that after this run, but guys, this right here is the main reason why. Uh, Battle Seder got changed. It's the Mace buff, which if you have this active, you can no longer cast any buffs. I'm talking Strike, Wisdom Blessing, D Divine Evocation, nothing. Uh, but what you can cast is Hammer, which now we have Jupiter Hammer, and that's going to be permanent cast as well. So now we have access to the Mace of Justice, which you normally won't see very often, and then Jupiter Hammer constantly, the whole the whole dungeon basically. So, uh, of course, the Seder still has the same old one-hitter quitter type of skills, but he has a couple new goodies. You've already seen me use a couple. This one is a really cool one, Charge Crash, basically. Uh, but I think the theme is still going to be the same. I'm going to hit him with a backswing on this. Oh, never mind. theme is still the same. He still has a lot of one-hitter quitter type of skills. Like that one right there is the uh, Flash. Uh, what is this called again? Divine Flash. You can use it offensively still, but you lose it off the DI, which is kind of sad. But that skill right there, right, is uh, going to be a staple skill now. They kind of added that. It's called Haptism. It's like a big AoE grouping type skill, except it does a ton of damage too. And a really low cooldown, which is nice. Seder desperately needed that, so glad he got it. Here's a Doom Javelin. Really cool. And you'll notice that his second and first Awakening are slightly different from the support counterpart. Now he always does the instant attack. Apoc no longer does the buff, but it always does the explosion attack. So... He's offensive oriented, oriented guys. What else can I say? I mean, that's just, that's just what it goes. So that was me trying to explain it for this run, guys. But there's gonna be a lot of things I'm gonna be explaining in this video. Uh, first and foremost, he can go way faster than that. We'll we'll show that in this dungeon, our next run. Uh, that was just me trying to explain it. But this guy is fast as shit now, and it doesn't help that I have a liberation uh, weapon. Or d it does help, obviously, uh, because I have more speed. But uh, you'll notice every time you kill a boss now, he drops imposter reports. And he always drops five of them. He can do this, the boss, uh, that is, drop five imposter reports every time up to a cap of 50. Doesn't matter what difficulty you go in. That's what I kind of wanted to explain because now we have infinite difficulty. Uh, you can go into level one, which is most of the time what I do when I'm farming this because I have to do a lot of characters. Uh, so I always go on level one. Here, the difficulty can just keep ramping up and up. And to kind of, I mean, I could ex spend a long time explaining this. Go check the update video. But basically, exorcism now is uh, a main feature of both uh, Saint Horn, at, uh, both of the dungeons in Saint Horn, OV and Ancient. So you'll see exorcism. If you have more than that, you'll do more damage. 
uh, but the difficulties can start ramping up pretty quickly here so uh, we'll go into level two it will obviously be a little bit harder so but yeah like i was saying guys this guy is so much faster than he used to be he is a gosh was that a necessary change for me to play this class and i was a little worried at first when i uh you know kind of saw that he didn't get a lot of new new skills i was worried that he was going to be like the same old like it wasn't enough but when i actually got in and actually started playing it i could tell that this was way different than what he used to be he used to be so slow uh he used to have a problem with killing trash mob which I, I think is still an issue for him but not as big an issue his basic attack string now is just a monster uh with the jupiter hammer and the speed that you get from the mace uh stuff like that guys so really low cooldown skill in the haptism which tons of damage it was just it was just such a good change and then the charge crash is also high high damage right there so no probably didn't look at right there but we did receive i think a slight nerf on the deflection wall you uh, generally always level that to max now it doesn't seem to be doing nearly as much as it used to but hey, you, i would take that hit on the oh, can we stun him can we stun him he ran right back into it like an idiot yeah we can stun him uh, yeah, we took a little bit of a hit on the deflection wall. Now it doesn't do nearly as much damage, but it's not a primary skill anymore, which I think is a good thing. That's actually a good thing. So there we beat level two, and again, Delizy drops five imposter reports. Uh, and again, the cap of him doing that as a, like a raw drop is uh, 50. So 10 runs of ancient dungeons, and guys, we uh, will have kept, uh, gotten the cap of how many we can uh, pick up daily in that method now. Uh, the main reason why uh, Ancients have been changed drastically, and for the better, is that uh, we have daily rewards now in the daily challenge. Before they used to be awful, now they're god tier. Uh, if you go scroll down to the Ancient region, you'll notice uh, that you'll have the same dailies every day. What it is, is clear any Ancient dungeon twice and you'll receive that quest material. Uh, you'll get 70 of that quest material just straight up and also two uh, appeasing stones. So, two ancient dungeons a day, the same one, you get the quest material and the appeasing stones so that you can purchase Requiem weapons here. You can already see that I am well, uh, the price of it has gone down massively. It used to be a hundred something, no, a hundred of these. It used to be a hundred to get this. Now it's 30 and that's the Requiem, guaranteed. And then the Liberation actually costs less to do as well uh, because of it. So. Um, it's a huge daily. I've been doing it on a ton of characters. It makes farming ancients way easier because we can go into level one if we want, if we're struggling, uh, and we can get our uh, legendary quest legendaries much faster. Because look at how many I've already gotten in those two runs, guys. I've already gotten 80 because I got 10 from that uh, those two runs and then 70 from the daily. So I get 80 every day from doing that twice. So. Those are the biggest changes by the way we haven't gone over my gear right now i had a full halidom set before i started doing this it's all i needed i had a a, a gracia weapon which definitely helped in the early stages but then i crafted a liberation scythe i think on another character swapped it to this character and you can already see i have a couple inferior grade i gotta use a collide on this uh gracia pieces already and that's the nice thing about this when you're getting 80 a day you're just gonna start slowly but surely racking that up as we go into level three now uh, racking that up to just uh be stronger as you go into these dungeon more not only will you be the gear itself will be stronger but you'll get more exorcism for the same gear which is obvious obviously why you would do more damage so we try to kill these guys for the group up which we were able to do again you can see though Guys, the difficulties are no joke. I just want to point that out that uh, it's a shame that I already did the DFO Blitz on my knight because uh, my knight's really the only one right now who can go to the absurd levels of difficulty when it comes to the ancient dungeons. I think she made it to like level 15 before it started getting really challenging. So, uh, But this guy, he's not going to make it that high. I mean, I, he, he's getting much, he's gotten much stronger, guys, but I don't think he's on that level yet where he can just do level 15 ancients. Come on, my knight has a... And we just missed that move. Uh, this guy resurrected the other one. I gotta worry about both of them again. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you can see it's taking me a little... Maybe a little bit more than one hit just to kill these guys now. Hammer's still good, though. And he rezzed them, no. Haptism? Nice. Really like Haptism. 
getting to use our lightning here. But yeah, it's it's nice how how much attention to detail detail they put into the Crusader. I feel like they, uh, you know, really wanted to focus on the offensive side of things when it comes to this class. They wanted to ensure that, okay, you know what, he's not going to get the best of both worlds. He's not a support character. He's entirely revolved around being selfish and buffing his own, you know, having his own damage up and doing his own damage. Which, I will tell you right now, I already know some very, even before the patch, even before the patch, uh, where the Battle Seater was an actual thing. Uh, now that is, before the patch, I knew some very, very strong satyrs, and after the patch, they've become gods, just straight up one-shotting, you know, doing raid, raids by themselves, no buff satyr required, you know, you don't even need a buff satyr, just go in there as your battle satyr and you're in pure deeps, so it's possible now, where before I feel like you had a struggle, you had to hit the highest echelons of gear before you could even think about doing that, and now it's, it's, it's a reality, you can just straight up... You don't even need a Seder. Your primary deeps at that point when you do that. So, which is awesome. I, I think that every class should have that capacity. And I feel like they're, they're, they believe the same thing. They're edging towards that. I guess I accidentally switched my weapons there. Intentionally. Uh, they're inching towards that though, guys. They have, uh, have some things in place. And I, I don't want to spoil the other videos that are coming down the pipe, but let's just say Crusader was not the only one that got buffed in this patch. I mean, probably one of the most hyped ones. I know a lot of people who just despise buff Seder and they've been dying to get this kind of Seder. Awesome. But he's not the only one. So, you know, this Infinity update was huge. Big update. Had a lot of great things in it. And, uh, I guess if you have the characters, don't just get hung up on one. I know, uh, right now I'm putting a lot of attention to my Seder, but I haven't forgotten about my other classes. Let's just say that. So, well, that's kind of the nice thing about the updates and having a lot of characters, guys, is that you can you can abuse the fact that you have them and freaking play, uh, get to enjoy all the updates when they get them. Because trust me, it's a big change of pace. This guy had the biggest change of pace when I came to basically hating this, playing this class, to basically not hating it and really enjoying it. I really do think he's so fast now and his skills compliment my playstyle of just being an offensive dude and uh, he can do that now and he's tanky enough to do that now he can even use the guardian bubble and, you know that's something I couldn't say before and I wish I could now I can't so anyway guys we're in level four and it's already starting to get in a little bit little struggling right now it's fine though I'm just kind of infinite comboing Delizzy here he doesn't know what to do he doesn't know what to do man hit him with the another explosion oh man you notice that is one of the smaller things that has changed. Uh, deflection Wall is no longer a skill. Uh, actually, the EX version of uh, Deflection Wall is no longer an actual skill. It's more of a passive uh, that was added onto the normal Deflection Wall. Same thing with the Flash Sphere, by the way. You no longer have two versions of the same skill. You have one skill with a passive, optional passive. So, uh, in that sense, they actually reduced the number of skills. Uh, you know, you, they took away a couple skills and instead combine them into one. Kind of like how they did with the uh, Nen Guard on the female Nen. You used to have two Nen Guards, now you have only one that's really good. Same thing, you have Deflection Wall, only that, which has a passive to give you two Deflection Walls. Pressure Walls, that was. And same thing with the Flash Shrapnel. So, just throwing that out there. Uh, doesn't matter, honestly. You have way other skills like Haptism and the Charge Crash that are way worth the, I guess, supposed nerf but anyway guys thanks for watching there was a little bit of cruise new crusader action more i should just say battle Seder action because he is so much more distinct and fun i should say than the support version and that's what i'm going to put in this video i'm not even going to play the support version just know that battle Seder is alive and well and i'm happy about it but anyway guys thanks for watching and i will catch you nights later